Here now we have two senators to talk about the Super Commission on the Deficit Report. We welcome back Bernie Sanders, independent from Vermont, and we bring back Mike Lee, Senator Mike Lee, Republican from Utah, by the way, author of the new book, The Freedom Agenda. Hello, gentlemen. Mr. Sanders, welcome back, sir. I just want to ask you, we tossed a few examples around with Steve Moore of the Wall Street Journal. First question I have for you, will Democrats agree to any sort of entitlement reform, whether it's cost of living adjustment or benefit caps or what have you, without tax increases? No, of course not, and I certainly hope not. The American people are very clear that at a time when the wealthiest people are becoming phenomenally richer and their effective tax rate is the lowest in decades, and that one of the reasons we're in the deficit situation we're in right now is because of Bush's tax breaks for the wealthy, of course the wealthiest people in this country have to pay their fair share of taxes. Also, given the fact that the deficit was caused by Bush tax breaks, by two wars that were unpaid, and by the Wall Street recession, in my view, it would be an absolute mistake to cut Social Security, to cut Medicare, to cut Medicaid programs that tens of millions of people desperately depend upon. Well, Senator Lee, I'm going to ask, it's probably just a dumb question. Will Republicans take any tampering of the Bush tax rates, including the millionaire surtax to which Mr. Sanders referred? The world is talking about the one percenters versus the 99 percenters, Senator Lee. Where do you come out on this? How is this going to get resolved? Speaking for myself personally, and I think for most, if not all Republicans, we don't want tax rate increases. We do understand the need for comprehensive tax reform. We need to lower rates, or at least keep them the same, while making adjustments so as to make our tax code simpler, easier to comply with, and producing a more generous and a, a more than anything, a more consistent revenue stream. Senator Lee, can I just ask you as a follow-up to that point? You said lower rates or keep them the same. Would you accept, you and your colleagues on the Republican side, accept a permanent freeze of the Bush tax rates in turn for a reduction in some of the tax code uh, deductions and you know, put a limit on the tax code deductions but leave the Bush tax rates alone? Would you take that lower deductions in return for freezing the Bush tax rates? That's certainly a possibility. The devil's always in the details, but I'd be willing to look at it, and I suspect most, if not all, of my colleagues would be as well. Senator Sanders, what do you think about that? Is that a compromise that you could buy into? In other words, lower the deductions, the value of the deductions for the upper-income people, which is something on the table, but leave the actual tax rate alone. No, I happen to believe in the concept of progressive taxation. And when we live in a nation which has the most uh, unequal distribution of income and wealth of any major country on earth, and that gap is growing wider, I believe the tax rates for the wealthiest people in this country should be significantly higher than they are for the middle class and working families. All right, Senator Sanders, let me just go a step further. What about corporate tax reform? Steve Moore reported that corporate tax reform, dropping the rate from 35 to let's say 25% in return for broadening the base, by getting a lot of these K Street loopholes, get rid of all of them. Could you buy into that? Well, the devil is always in the details, but I think there are very few corporations that are paying 35% uh, in corporate taxes. Uh, we have, there was just a study out today which showed that one out of four corporations, major corporations, pays nothing in taxes. So, you know, in terms of what they really pay, it's certainly not 35%, it is much, much less. The goal is to have a sensible tax policy and have people pay it. Senator Lee, is corporate tax reform alive or dead? Well, I think it's alive, and I think it's got to be alive. And for many of the same reasons that my friend Senator Sanders refers to, we do need tax reform in the corporate tax arena. Uh, we can't continue to have the highest corporate income tax rate in the world and expect to be competitive in the market. Uh, we need to lower this rate uh, while closing out some of these loopholes so that we make our tax collection efforts more effective and more consistent. If, if I could just comment on, on what my friend just said. You may have nominally the highest tax rate in the world, but nobody believes that that is really what people are paying. When you have, as I just indicated, one out of four corporations paying nothing in federal income tax, the real tax rates that corporations are paying is fairly consistent with what's being paid 
uh, in the OECD. Yeah, but Senator Lee, a lot of the OEC, with respect to Senator Sanders, is a friend. The OEC doesn't really say that, the OECD. In fact, during profitable times, such as we have now, corporations are profitable, both their marginal rate, which is at 35%, and their effective rate is going to be right near the top, Senator. I don't see how we can compete. Canada's tax rate is 15%, Senator Lee. I mean, should this be a sticking point for the deficit committee, or is all this hope for growth lost? Hey, it should be a sticking point, and it will be. Look, it may be true that uh, you've got some corporations paying little or nothing, but you also have a lot who are paying at or near the, the top of that rate range. And so uh, this is a problem. This is discouraging economic growth in the United States, and we need to fix it. What I would say is taxes are important, but probably trade policy is far more important uh, in terms of job loss in this country. In the last 10 years, we've lost 50,000 factories. Our trade policy in terms of Mexico and China has been a disaster. Corporations are shutting down here and moving abroad, right. not just for tax reasons. I, I'd love to talk China and I'd love to talk trade policy, but we're flat out of time. Gentlemen, I know you're in the midst of votes and you're busy. Senator Bernie Sanders, Senator Mike Lee, I appreciate your time very much.